high. The universe really is amazing. It operates to make sure that all the opposites are always in balance and the universe contained within your body is really no exception. Take your body temperature as an example. Your system tries to do whatever it can to make sure that the temperature stays at 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and the tiniest little dip or fall will mean you'll experience some health issues. If there is a really big rise, then you'll get fever and that's when you, your whole immune system starts to really break down. That's when you'll experience real pain. Another balance to look for on your body, and this is this one is the most important of all, it's called the acid alkaline balance. You may have heard of it as the pH balance. In fact, if you've ever watched TV, you would have you probably definitely uh, know about this from some kind of beauty cream or shampoo ad. So the pH balance has a scale from 0 to 14, 0 being the most acidic and 14 being the most alkaline. 7 is neutral. So what's really interesting is when your body is just a tiny little bit alkaline, uh, when your blood is at 7.36, no disease can claim the body. On the other end of the scale, when your body is just a tiny little bit acidic, then Hello, chronic fatigue, adult acne, aches and pains, diabetes, obesity, the C word, you name it. So how do you tell where on the scale you sit? I will show you in a second, but there are various ways to be able to tell if you're acidic or not. For starters, the stressful environment you spend the majority of your time in will really determine your acidity level. The thoughts you plant in your head, the type of conversations you have, you know, the people you hang out with, the music you listen to, the things you look at can really affect your acidity levels. The food. Now this fuel you put into your body, this is going to be a really big teller. Uh, you may already know what the acidic foods are. This could be totally common sense to you. You know, things like preserved foods, canned food, alcohol. But there are also things like pork, parmesan cheese. Those are the most acidic of all. In fact, some alkalizing foods may really surprise you too. The majority of us are walking around far too acidic because it takes four parts of alkalinity to neutralize one part of acid. All of this we will discuss on my brand new telecourse, the Acid Alkaline Breakthrough. I'm going to give you comprehensive food charts so you can actually see where each ingredient sits on the pH scale, which one is most alkaline, which one is most acidic, how to combine them, and how to use them in your own kitchen and in, uh, on your own schedule. Uh, I'm going to show you how to keep most alkaline, even in the most toxic, the most acidic of environments. I'm actually also going to walk you through step by step over the 28 days uh, to show you how to acidify the body, get rid of those acids and cleanse with the least amount of detox symptoms, which I think is really, really key here. Uh, and also show you how to restore your energy to a level which I think you may have forgotten was even possible. If you wanted to get an accurate reading of your body's pH, the quickest thing to do is get yourself some of these pH strips. Uh, these are actually really cool. They come in a box of 100. You can just grab one, run it under your urine stream, and you'll see change color. Now you can check it against the colors on the chart it comes with. You can get this as part of your acid alkaline breakthrough package, uh, or you can go to your nearest chemist and just ask for some litmus paper. Whichever one you do, it really doesn't matter to me. Just get checking your pH levels, and on the program, we can work out your pattern and what that means for you. So right now, click the link below, and you can read all about your own acid alkaline breakthrough. See you soon.